Hi, hey, what's up? And welcome to Exo's Cream Soda Music Tea. Exo's Cream Soda Music Video Teaser. I am cold, that's why I have a blanket, and I am also Lev. This is a very short teaser, so this is probably going to be a very short video, but I have seen... The only thing I have seen from this so far is the concept... The photos. The concept photos that they've been put out. There's three versions, I believe, so far. Every single one has been so different, and every single one of them has been my death. <laughs> my god, am I so excited. Let Me In was amazing. Hear Me Out was amazing. And Cream Soda, if it follows on the same vibe, then it's going to be fucking amazing. Even if it changes the vibe a little bit, because the concept has been quite different. That's why we're watching the teaser. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'm going to watch it. We're going to watch it. It's just going to be you and me. Oh, we're going to... I'm so excited. All right. Enough piddle piss farting around. I'm, I'm, why am I... Every time I'm nervous. It's like I click on it and I go to press play and I'm like that wave of... <laughs> <laughs> the stomach drops like that wave is just like oh because like oh uh, <laughs> is he's <laughs> oh my god he looks so good oh my god oh my god ah. oh my god oh my god oh, the bass oh my god dear oh my fucking god sorry <laughs> Wait, did they say cream soda? Is that what it was? I'm s fuck, man. <laughs> cream soda. It was. I was literally nothing, like, it, it, bleh, not nothing. It really gave nothing, but it also gave so much at the same time. As teasers come, this is not the best, but I'm still gonna watch it frame by frame and break it down, I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, so we have soda. I'm assuming it's cream soda. Also, by the way, <laughs> In America, they call it cream soda, and I feel like everywhere around the world, they call it cream soda. But um, in Australia, we call it creamy soda. And there's two versions. There's a red one, there's a pink one, and there's a brown one. Uh, the brown one is 100% superior. But that's just a little fun fact. Being over here a bit upside down in the down under, we do things a bit differently. I'm also in the future, and you're going to have a great day. Soda and ice blocks, and there's bubbles in me. Also, that I want that watch, Exo Cream Soda. That's a really nice watch. What does it say underneath? Oh my god, Daniel. <laughs> He looks so good. Stop. Where do you get the audacity to look like this? Okay, shoes. Sexy shoes. Uh, we have a, a extremely long dinner table as all the members come up and eat me. No. <laughs> oh my god, Shimin. Oh my god. Is he wearing a little croppy? Is he wearing? Is he wearing cropped up or is it belt? Or it's a little thing. It's, no, it's not his tummy. He has a peacock feather. We find Shimin finally has a good haircut. <laughs> Beckyon, oh my god, he's a little freckle. Oh my god, look at his makeup. Oh, so, oh my god, hang on, so many things. Okay, then we cheers in suits. Are we gonna get, are we gonna get, are we gonna get EXO in suits? Fuck. <laughs> Was that someone's mouth drinking cream soda? This is wild. That. Is that what that is? Me. <laughs> okay, then we're dancing. And then Chen. Chen is... Look at that smile. Oh my god, look at that fucking... What's this? It's TXC. It's <laughs> definitely <laughs> smile. <laughs> that reminds me. Oh my god, stop. Does he have a hole in his ear from... Is no... that... But... Does he have any ears pierced? Oh my god, fuck. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Suho in this comeback, this whole thing, in Let Me In, in Hear Me Out, and in this, he looks... Whew, oh, I feel like this is Dio's... This is Suho's comeback. Suho's gonna stand out a lot, and I feel like Dio's gonna stand out a lot. And possibly Chan. Is he melting? Is he melting my heart? It's a little representation of how I feel. Oh my god. It's the Adam's apple for me. It's the Dio apple for me. Oh! Stop. Is there anything more beautiful in this world? Cream. Cream! And then we're all dancing, having a drink. So mature. Everyone's drinking. I don't drink alcohol, but if I was with them, I 100% would do whatever they wanted me to. Take that any way you want. <laughs> look, at, look at Dio's little face. And then an ice block, which is definitely probably not ice. It says cream soda. Oh my god. Some wine. Someone doing yoga. And then a twirl. Oof. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Can you see Dio's outfit? Oh my god. Sorry. <laughs> 
Theo looks, oh my god, and Chan, oh my god. And then Baekhyun, oh Baekhyun titties. Oh, I can't get over Dio. He's giving Prince Eric <laughs> from The Little Mermaid. And if you guys watch The Little Mermaid live action, oh, it's giving live action Little Mermaid Eric. And I crushed on him when I was a little kid. And now I've crushed on him when I am I, an adult. And then now we have Dio. <laughs> I don't even, I don't know what to expect. I'm so hyped for this. It's tomorrow. It's, it's tomorrow. I'm going to edit this video and get it up for you tonight. It is tomorrow. And I can't express to you how excited and nervous I am. <laughs> I'm nervous because like, and I mentioned this in my other videos, I was like, because I'm really just worried that I'm not going to like it, which even if I don't like it very much, like I'm still going to, it will just be a personal opinion. And that in no way means that like, I don't like them or I think they're not good or anything like that. It's got nothing to do with that. It's more like sometimes it's not their vibe. To be transparent, not every song they put out, any any group that I love and stand, not every song that they put out do I love. That's just across the board for me. An artist will do different things. Things, they'll try new stuff they will change concepts they will change genres a little bit obviously as a person and as a list as a consumer and as like a fan you do have a personal taste lucky for me um most of what exo does i love and enjoy i feel like this comeback they're giving a lot more mature chill vibe not exactly boy crush but more man crush <laughs> And I'm really here for it. Um, I think because I realize that most of the most of the fans these days are older and they are getting older. I feel like they're taking that, um, that their fans and them are older and maturing and putting that into their music. Because Hear Me Out was a beautiful ballady type jazz thing. No, sorry, let me in. <laughs> and then Hear Me Out was just like a fun vibe with a bit, little bit of R&B-ish jazzy stuff. And that to me is like sex. <laughs> That is like the chillest, like lo-fi vibes um, where I can, with the with the heavy beat, love it. It is, that's why I'm so excited for this comeback because I feel like it's going to be maybe a bit more on my taste. And I have noticed in the last year or so, my music taste changing a little bit to a more R&B, more lo-fi. You know, like there's two types, there's two sides of me where I do love the R&B lo-fi sides. But then again, I love the really hype, fast paced, like with a drop and like a little bit of electronic in there. And then there's me that cries over the ballads. <laughs> Maybe there's three of me. That's just my thoughts on it. And I also have this theory that this is going to put EXO a bit back on the map. Um, not that they are decreased in popularity at all. It's more that I have a feeling because K-pop has become so prevalent in not just in Asia, but also outside of Asia and all over the world these days. We know that EXO is mainly more popular in Asia and in Southeast Asia and all around that. And internationally, groups like BTS, Stray Kids, Blackpink, Twice are getting much more international fame, which is great. But I feel like EXO doesn't have that over in, EXO doesn't have as many fans as what in, in the Western, in the Western world as what other groups do. And I feel like this is going to be something that shows them that, so that shows people that EXO <laughs> are in fact very relevant, amazing artists. And then obviously they're getting, I think they're getting a, a stage as well. So that's going to also show that even though they are an older group, that they by no means are any less than the new groups. Uh, I have a feeling that they're gonna take that maturity and show it and be like, ah, yes, this is exactly why they are one of the OG, highly respected groups. And I'm excited for that. They're gonna get a bit more recognition. They're, they're gonna get the recognition that they deserve. I believe. And if I'm completely wrong, then I'm completely wrong. And I'm okay with that. Yeah, so I think Man Crush, Mature, back on the map and fucking amazing. <laughs> That's my thoughts, my 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 opinions, my my expectations, my everything. <laughs> uh, thanks for being here, thanks for all, thanks for hanging out, and I will see you tomorrow with the EXO comeback with cream soda, cream soda. I can't remember what it was. <laughs> I'm gonna die. We're gonna die together. Lucky to be lucky to have you, and I will see you tomorrow. Good luck. Bye.